Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is another look at another feature in the Settings app, and we're going to look at the Colors feature in the Personalization and what it has to do with Windows 10. So, of course, this is a series that works for the May 2019 update, November 2019 update, and even version 2004 coming up in a few weeks from now. So you can go to your settings app on the bottom right on all settings, or you can go into the start menu, click on the settings gear. Here you will go into personalization and colors. What do we have in colors? Colors refers to uh, different aspects of the look or the accent color of your computer. So in Windows 10, they've uh, of course tweaked around and changed this a little bit over time. First of all is choose your color and it says custom. Custom means it's used by an app. An app is deciding what is the color of my, uh, the color uh, scheme of my Windows 10. This is done because I use um, Windows or Microsoft uh, themes and they actually have background pictures but also will actually manage some of that uh, for me. But if I want I can actually use either light or dark in the theme. So if I click light, I'm in the light theme. If I click dark, it is of course the dark theme. And if I click custom, it will follow whatever my computer decides it wants to follow. Then you can of course, choose independent. That means you can choose your default Windows mode, light or dark, and your app mode, light or dark, can be chosen uh, separately if you don't want to have everything dark or everything light. Transparency effects, you see here, if you look at this panel on this left side, it's kind of slightly transparent. You can kind of see my wallpaper in the background. If I turn this off, it becomes a solid color. So this is an effect that is available. Some of you turn it off because they have a hard time. Um, if you have some disabilities, sometimes it can be difficult to see text when the uh, effects are not, you know, solid color rather than transparency. So you can turn it off here. You can choose your accent color. You can actually have automatically pick an accent color from the background. This means that my background picture here will decide the accent color that is available. And the accent color shows up in different places. It shows up in the different apps that you have, uh, except the new apps, which are not <laughs> available. Uh, even here at the bottom, the taskbar will have a slightly different color. So for example, if I choose uh, orange and click on it, what's gonna happen is that overall, my different themes and different uh, menus, you see there's more orange in everything that I've chosen, including my start menu that is now orange. And there's kind of a orange hue to the tabs or the different apps that are open in the taskbar. So depending on what you do, this will follow your um, different um, colors all around. So you see here, it changes in uh, different aspects and different parts of different windows. So you can, of course, have an accent color that matches what you like. Um, but of course, by default, you can just say automatically pick an accent color depending on the background of your computer. You can also use a custom color. Custom color brings you a full color palette uh, that you can choose from, which is millions of colors basically in here. And you can simply click in an area and it says here, okay, this is what you're gonna have click done. And you can, of course, also uh, in that custom color if you want. So in here I'm indigo now. If you uh, use a custom color, you also have a slider that you can put it, you know, lighter or darker, depending on what you want. It will actually uh, adjust itself to whatever you've chosen. And finally, show accent color on the following surfaces, start taskbar in action center. So if you put it here, here we go. Now my taskbar is blue and tiles, title bars and windows borders, which means, for example, if I go to the file explorer and look, you will see that my title bar at the top is blue also. So you can actually customize the colors and have a different feel and a different look 
to your own Windows operating system. And you know what? This is like painting your home or changing, you know, the furniture uh, position in a room. Feels like something new. Well, this is a great way to, you know, remove that boredom from your Windows operating system and kind of feel like something is new with different colors like this. So it's kind of cool to have all of this available on your computer. So this is the colors and the settings and the personalization. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.